Somebody asked me to talk a little bit about how I play, and I uh, I taught a uh, drop thumb claw hammer workshop down at the Down East Friends of Folks Festival the other day, uh, and I thought, oh, maybe I ought to do that on on YouTube because uh, I don't think I play exactly like anybody else, but it's not all that hard. And basically, I play uh, frailing or claw hammer. The difference between frailing or claw hammer is on frailing you basically hit the string on the downstroke with the back of your fingernail of one finger, either this one or this one. And then on the upstroke, every other time or so, you you uh, kind of pluck the fifth string. And it gives you a little bum ditty. Bum ditty, bum ditty, bum ditty, bum. With the whole drop thumb thing, I've got this sort of a boom shaka laka laka thing going, which is a lot different. It's like I'm changing the bum ditty to boom shaka laka laka, because what I'm doing often is I'll go hit that string down and then I'll uh, like well basically what I did how I got started on this thing I was, went to a workshop that Ken Perlman taught and he said you know use your thumb use your finger to hit all of the strings and then use your thumb to hit all the strings and if you do that then you can pretty much do anything in the world and that's kind of what I do I, like I might hit the first doing is hitting the first string and the fifth string, but I'm hitting the first string with my finger and my thumb. And if you can do that, you can do some cool stuff, like you take old Joe Clark for that. And now on that time, when I hit this note, that second string, I hit it with my thumb and not my, my finger. So basically, I'm kind of getting a little extra mileage out of things there. Just like the uh, first thumb, first finger, first thumb, fir, fir, first finger, fifth thumb, first finger. No, I can never do that stuff. Y'all have a nice day. Okay, I should probably try that boom shakalaka lesson, uh, drop thumb, claw hammer lesson thing over again. I'm just going to do this really slow. Uh, and I'll, you don't always, well, let's just. You don't always have to hit the same thing, string. You can hit any string you want with your thumb and your forefinger. I mean your thumb and your finger, whichever finger you use, pretty much any time you want. And once you can do that, you can play just about anything you want. Uh, I'm going to do like third. I'm just going to do it slow so you can see my hands.